అనన్య పరతంత్రం నవరసూర్చిరాం నిర్మితి ఆదతి భారతీ కవేర్ జయంతి వీఆర్ లుకింగ్ అట్ వాక్యమాత్ర దోష నో వీ హ్ టు స్టార్ట్ విత్ అర్థమాత్ర అర్థ దోష వేర్ ద దోషం నో మ్యాటర్ వాట్ వెదర్ ద పదం ఇస్ ప్రెసెంట్ ఆర్ నాట్ అండ్ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ ద పదం ద పదం ఇస్ నాట్ అన్ ఇష్యూ ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ ఎనదర్ పదం ఇస్ గివెన్ ద మీనింగ్ ఇస్ ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ హియర్ okay so the different uh, uh, doshas are um apushtaha there are 23 types of doshas we will look at the first one which is apushtaha and uh, apushta means you are using certain words which are not contributing to it even if the word is not present the artham uh, uh, it does not get uh, uh, how do i say that there is no um problem with the understanding of the meaning whether the word is present or not okay so i think it is more to do with relevance so if this word is relevant whether this word is relevant to the shlokam or not or to the understanding or not so if, if the word is not relevant then the dosha is apushtaha artha if you looked at uh, the earlier ones we were looking at napunsakalingam whereas here we will say we will use it in pulling up because it is the artha which is dushtaha arthaha so apushta dosha yuktaha arthaha the first example is ati vidata gagana sarani prasarana parimukta vishramanandaha marudullasita saurabha kamalakara hasakrutu ravihi vijayati ravihi vijayati so the main sentence here is the um, sun shines forth very beautifully ravihi vijayati the other two are just a long compound word as an adjective for surya so the first compound word is ati vidata gagani gagana sarani prasarana parimukta vishrama anandaha the sun is uh, uh, he doesn't have, he has given up on his anandam and vishramaha vishramaha rest ananda happiness so uh, yaha surya విశ్రమ ఆనందౌ పరిముక్త ఏన సూర్యేణ పరిముక్త పరిముక్త విశ్రమ ఆనందౌ సో హీ హెస్ లెట్ గో ఆఫ్ హిస్ విశ్రమ రెస్ట్ అండ్ ఆనంద హిస్ హ్యాపీనెస్ వై ఇస్ దాట్ బికాస్ హీస్ బీన్ హీస్ కాన్స్టెంట్లీ మూవింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ వైడ్ ఆకాశం అతి వితత అతి దీర్ఘ ఆకాశ ఏవ సరణి గగన సరణి తస్మిన్ ప్రసరణాత్ ప్రసరణ కారణేన పరిముక్త మిశ్రమ ఆనంద రవి సో సూర్య హెస్ లెట్ గో ఆఫ్ హిస్ ఆర్ హెస్ గివెన్ అప్ ఆన్ హిస్ ఆనందం అండ్ ఆన్ హిస్ విశ్రమ రెస్ట్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ ప్రసరణ బై మూవింగ్ ఇన్ ద సరణి ఇన్ ద పాత్ విచ్ ఇస్ ఇన్ ద గగన సరణి ఆర్ ఇన్ ది ఆకాశ మార్గ విచ్ ఇస్ అతి వితతం దట్ ఇస్ వెరీ వైడ్ ది అదర్ అడ్జెక్టివ్ దట్ హీ గివ్స్ ఫర్ surya is marut ullasita saurabha kamalakara hasakrit hasakrit he makes the lotus smile kamalakara hasakrit makes the lotus smile and those lotuses uh, whose smell whose uh, scent the fragrance saurabha is ullasita is spread because of marut by the wind so maruta ullasitam saurabham kamalakarasya సో కమలాకరస్య హాసకృత్ హాసం కరోతి రవి తాదృశ రవి విజయతి సర్వోత్కర్షేణ వర్తే హియర్ గగనం గగ ద మూమెంట్ ఐ సే ఆకాశ వి అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అతి వితత దీర్ఘం ఆర్ విశాలం దట్ విశాలత్వ దట్ వైడ్నెస్ ఆఫ్ ది ఆకాశ ఈస్ ఇమ్మీడియట్లీ నోన్ బై ద వర్డ్ స్కై ఐ డోంట్ నీడ్ టు సీ ద బిగ్ wide sky the word sky itself gives rise to the image of ati vitatvam vitatatvam or ati dirghatvam in our mind vishalatvam in our mind i don't need to specify that it is so gaganasya arthadeva ati vitatatvam avagamyate tasmat ati vitata ityartha ityatra anupadane api shabda anupadane api pratipadyamanam artham na badante అతి వితతాదయ ప్రతిపాద్యమానం అర్థం న బాధంతే సో ద ఎక్స్ప్లెనేషన్ మమటా గివ్స్ ఫర్ దిస్ ఇస్ ఇన్ ద వృత్తి హిసేస్ అత్ర వితతత్వాదయ 
ವಿತತತ್ವ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಅತಿ ವಿತತ್ವ ಸೊ ಆದಿ ಪದೇನ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಸರಣಿ ಆನಂದ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಆಕಾಶ ಮಾರ್ಗೇಣ ಗಚ್ಚತಿ ಆಕಾಶೇನ ಗಚ್ಚತಿ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಕಾಶ ಮಾರ್ಗೇಣ ಇಸ್ ಇರ್ರೆಲೆವೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೆಸೆಸರಿ ದೇರ್ ಅನುಪಾದಾನೆ ಅಪಿ ಅರ್ಥಂ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದ್ಯತೆ ಅರ್ಥ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ಅತಿ ವಿತತತ್ವಾದಯ ಶಬ್ದ ಅನುಪಾದಾನೆ ಅಪಿ ಶಬ್ದ ರೂಪೇಣ ಪದ ರೂಪೇಣ ಅನುಪಾದಾನೆ ಅಪಿ ಪ್ರತಿಪಾದ್ಯಮಾನಂ ಅರ್ಥಂ ನ ಬಾಧಂತೆ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ಅನ್ ಆಬ್ಸ್ಟಕಲ್ ಟು ದಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಕೆನ್ ಈಸಿಲಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅತಿ ವಿತತ್ವಂ ಆರ್ ದೀರ್ಘತ್ವಂ ವಿಶಾಲತ್ವಂ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸೇ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಗಗನ ವೆನ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಗಗನ ಸರಣಿ is understood there we don't need vishrama itself indicates that he is uh, uh, see someone wants to take rest it means he want to be happy he is so he has been toiling himself uh, in uh, hardships and he has no rest means he has no anandam so the moment he is let go of vishrama itself indicates that he doesn't have happiness so that ananda is actually an extra padam now this is not punaruktam nor it is adhikam padam he explains it here he says natu asangataha punaruktaha va asangata means adhikaha uh, when do you say that it is an adhika pada dosham prayojanantara abhavat tad pada abidane adhikatvam when there is no extra prayojanam or a use for a padam but that padam has been used here ati vitata conveys the meaning of dirghatvam so it it is uh, uh, um, whether we use it or not the artham is being conveyed it is not a punaruktam so if it is punaruktam then the same word is repeated again if i say gagana akasha marge saranau akasha gagana marge if i say that then akasha and gagana are punarukti padasyaiva punarukti hmm? or arthasya punarukti can happen but here ativitata does not mean gagana by gagana it, the the uh, vishalatvam is implied so the artham is unnecessary is irrelevant that's all hmm? so natu asangataha adikam padam means prayojana antara abhavat pada anupadana so pada upadana if a, if a word is used where i don't see any other extra emphasis because of that that word that provides with the meaning then it is adhika padam whereas here anupadane api even if the word ati vitata is not present it still conveys the meaning to its full it does not uh, um, embellishes it in a very different manner that is not happening here so there is an apushta dosha okay next one is kashtatvam kashtatvam means it is uh, klishta it is difficult to understand the construct of the entire shloka is such that it is difficult to understand sada madhye yasam iyam amrita nisyanda nisyanda surasa saraswat yuddama vahati bahu marga parimalam prasadam ta eta ghana parichitah kena mahatam mahakavya vyomni sphurita madhura yantu ruchayah um this is the shloka is written by someone who is um it, it's like a mangala shlokam there he says kavinam ruchayah ruchi means abhiprayah athava kavi margaha the kavyam what they write uh, uh, mahatam ruchayah mahakavya vyomni spurita madhuraah prasadam yantu katham yantu kena yantu see when no, uh, the normal kavyam normal people when they talk it is okay but kavi they use their uh, uh, words they convey their meaning in such a manner that sakshat saraswati is flowing in their words how can normal people try to understand those words that's the import of this shloka let's look at just the main prakrita artham here so yasam kavinam kavi ruchinam madhye i'm also reading the vritti that is here which uh, uh, tries to give an explanation of this shloka hmm? so yasam madhye yasam kavi ruchinam madhye yasam kavinam kritinam madhye sukumara 
विचित्र मध्यम आत्म आत्मक त्रिमार्गा भारती चमत्कार वहति दट इज युअर मेन सेंटे फॉर द फर्स्ट टू लाइन सो सदा मध्ये यासाम इयम आमृत निस्यंद सुरसा सरस्वती उद्दामा बहुमार्गा परिमलम वहति मेन सेंटेंस सो यासाम मध्ये अमंग्स द वर्ड्स ऑफ द कवीस हाउ इज इट इन दिस वर्ल्ड द नैचुरली स्वीट कवीज वर्ड्स nobody can understand that okay uh, so amrita nisyanda surasa amrita nisyandam the the saraswati the vagdevi who is shining forth in the words of the kavi she is flowing with amrita so it's like amrita nisyandam surasa it is filled with shringaradi navarasa yukta yukta saraswati uddama uddama praudha marga yukta bahu marga there are a lot of riti vritti vaidarbi gaudi panchali there are different types of rithis that are adopted in the kavi yukti kavi ukti parimalam vahati shreshthatvam vahati taha ruchayah etaha mahatam ruchayah mahatam kavinam ruchayah ghana parichitah they are very uh, difficult to understand ghana parichitah they are they can only be understood after निबिड़ परिचिता यू हेव टू कॉन्स्टंटली कीप ऑन रीडिंग मेनी काव्यम देनली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वाट द कवि इज ट्रई टू पोट्रे ओके दट इज घन परिचित आफ्टर बीइंग असोसिएटेड विथ द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ काव्यस इन अ वेरी ग्रेट मैनर स्फूरी मधुरा देनली यू विल अंडरस्टैंड द ब्यूटी इन सैड दट काव्यम तादृश रुचय कृतय कवीना कृतय महाकाव्यूप व्योमी महाकाव्य व्योमी द स्कै महाकाव्यम इज लाइक अ स्कै इन दट स्कै और इन दट महाकाव्यम कें प्रकार प्रसाद व्यां हव विल इट बिकम वेरी क्लियर फॉर पीपल नॉर्मल पीपल सो कवि रईट्स हिस् पोएम बै right the, um, reading a lot of kavyam he reads a lot of kavyam and then he imparts his uh, knowledge into that so you can you also have to have so much of training in kavyam for you to understand a mahakavi's works or to understand that sarasatvam that rasa that it is being is being conveyed and for you to enjoy the rasam that comes out of that kavi kavitvam now there is another meaning also in this because he is actually doing a upama alankara dhvani where when he uses the word vyoma akasham then this mahakavyam is like akasha like the sky and ruchi also has another meaning it is called uh, uh, kiranam so mahatam ruchayah means just like the dwadasha aditya the 12th uh, sun there are the dwadasha uh, surya in the sky all the the rays of the suns are also it is very difficult to see them when the sky is filled with clouds and that's the meaning he is going to convey with this let's see how it goes uh, easier in a tabular column for me so yasam madhye so when we looked at it yasam kavi abhiprayana madhye or here you will take it as in the aprakrita Uh, paksham aprakritam is non contextual where he is describing the aditya surya surya prabhanam madhye amrita nisyanda surasa now the 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 image that the poet is trying to give us is in the mahakavya ukti in the kavi ukti in the words of the mahakavyam saraswati is flowing that is vani vagdevi is chamatkaram vahati she shows a great beauty in those kavi's poetry and that is very difficult for normal people to understand okay in the kavi paksham that is the prakritam that is the contextual in the aditya paksham which is the non contextual in between the surya sur in uh, surya's rays are in the akasha and there ganga is flowing ganga is also called saraswati or saraswati is also ganga when ganga is flowing and she flows in all three worlds she is constantly uh, um um spraying water jalasravini amrita nisyanda amrita means to one is amritam nectar 
the other is water. So Amrita Nisyanda Surasacha Sumadhura Ya Ganga Uddama Uddama in the Kavi Paksham we saw that the Vani is Praudham. And Bahu Marga means Riti Trayavati, that is Vaidarbi Gaudi Panchali. Whereas here, Bahu Marga, Ganga flows, is, Ganga is Uddama, she is very great because she has a great flow of water. And Tripatha Gamini, she goes in Swargam, Bhumi, and Patala. So Bahu Marga, she has many different paths to follow. Sa Evam Vidha Saraswati Parimalam Vahati. She has a sweet smell. Saraswati Nadi Saugandhyam Vahati. Sugandhata Asti Saraswatya. Taha Etaha Ghana Parichitaha Ghana Parichitaha Megha Yuktaha Ruchayaha Surya Kiranaha Megha Yuktaha Santaha Spurita Maduraha Prakashena so Suryasya Prakashena Madhuraha, it is very beautiful to look at the rays of the sun, uh, even though it, it is covered with, see when, when the Megham is not present, then it's very difficult for us to look at the sun, it's very terrible to look at. Kandu uh, Kushumba, it's uh, tough to look at the sun directly. So, but if it is Megha Parichitaha, if it has the connection with Megham clouds, then it is easier to look at the sun. So Prakashena Madhuraha. It's very sweet to look at. Mahakavya Vyomni. Here, Mahakavya Sadrishe Gagani. The Akasha is, resembles, Akasha resembles a Mahakavya. Akasha is so widespread like a big Mahakavya. Mahatam Ruchayaha, Dwadasha Adityanam, Prabhaha, Atava Kiranaha, Kena Prasadam Yantu, Katham Swachatam Gachantu. How can we clearly look at the Surya Prabha, which is covered by the Saraswati Nadi and Megha? So it is very difficult to look at the sun's rays. What he is actually trying to convey here is in the as a dhvani, it is an alankara dhvani, a comparison between uh, Kavi's Abhipraya and Surya's Kirana. Okay, that is the comparison here. It is an upama alankara dhvani. That is very difficult to understand. We have to bring about the meaning in such a manner, so difficult to, it's not very clear. The words are not very uh, easily understood by us. Hmm? There will be other uh, examples in Dvanya Loka. Uh, forget now. Mm, he uses Gavaha and says he uses Shlesha Lankara for that very similar one. Mm. Okay. So this, uh, um, oh, one minute. Uh, atra Yasam Kaviruchina Madhye ma, Sukumara Vichitra Madhyama Atmaka Sukumara uh, Sukumara is very sweet. Vichitra is uh, Chitra Lankara Yuktam, that is uh, uh, Gaudi. And then Madhyama is Panchala Riti. Sukumara is Vaidarbha Riti, Vaidarbhi. Vichitra is Gaudi Riti. Madhyama is uh, Panchali Riti. Uh, Atmaka Trimarga Bharati, Tri Riti. Traya Yukta Bharati Vani Chamatkaram Vahati Taha Gambhira Kavya Parichitaha Ghana Parichitaha Ritayaha That is Kavinam Abhipra Kriti Kritayaha Katham Prasannaha Prasadam Yantu Prasadam Yantu means Itara Kavya Vati Prasannaha Bhavantu How can, see for example, it's like uh, uh, reading a uh, Bharavi's Kavyam or uh, Naishadam. Naishadam ha has uh, uh, Gaudi, Panchali and it has Vaidarbi also. All three types are present there. Very difficult to understand because it is not so easy to uh, grasp like Kalidasa's. Even Kalidasa for that matter, you will have only one layer of meaning you can understand. What he is trying to import is even further down. But it's easier when compared to uh, Bharavi or Magha or Naishadhakara for that matter. So, Itara Kavya Vati, just like other Kavyas, it is very difficult to understand clearly. How can it be clear? Yasa Maditya Prabhana Madhye Tripadhaga Vahati. When uh, uh, Ganga is flowing in between the uh, rays of the sun, Taha Megaparichitaha, 
Taha Aditya Prabaha, those rays of the sun, Mega Parichitaha, when they come in when they are in contact with the clouds, Kadam Prasannaha Bhavanti Iti Sankshepartha is only giving a very short meaning of this shloka. So it's very difficult to get both the second meaning, especially. That is Kashtaha Artha. Next is Vyahataha. <coughs> Ah. The meaning of Vyahatam is uh, Utkarshova, Utkarshova, Apakarshova, Pragyasya Nigadyate, Tasyaiva, Tadanyaschet, Vyahato, Arthaha, Tada Bhavet. So Utkarshaha, Apakarshaha, va. when you are trying to convey something through a shlokam, and you are conveying the greatness of something, Utkarshaha. Athava, if you are trying to convey an Apakarsha or a Ninda. Prashamsa Nindava Yedi Nigadyate. Shloke na. So, Prak Yesya Nigadyate. So, first, if you try to praise something, or first, if you try to Apakarsha, if you uh, do a Ninda, and then immediately Tasyaiva. Yesya Utkarshaha Apakarshaha Va Kritaha Tasyaiva. The same uh, object or the same meaning is Anyaha Chet Vyahataha Arthaha Tada Bhavet. Tasyaiva Atha afterwards Atha Tasyaiva. The same meaning is being portrayed in a different manner. Purvam Ninditva Yadi Paschati Prashamsa Kriyate Atava Purvam Prashamsa Krutva. Paschat ninda kriyate iti dvividaha vyahataha. So these are the two types of vyahataha doshaha. The shloka here is from Malati Madhavam. Jagati jaina stete bhavaha navendu kaladayaha prakriti madhuraha santyeva anye mano madayanti ye. Mamatu yadiyam yata loke vilochana chandrika nayana vishayam janmani yekaha sayeva mahotsavaha. Here, uh, Nava Indu Kaladayaha Adipadena, we just take you know all the things that give us uh, happiness. It is like a Kama Uddipaka, Shungara um, Rasa Uddipaka. So, yea, those, those, those things in this world, hmm? in this world, Jagati. Jainaha, those which are naturally sweet, Nava Indu Kaladayaha Bhavaha, Jainaha Jagati, Te, Te Jainaha Eva Jagati Bhavanti. In this world, those beautiful things that are present, like Nava Indu Kala, the, the new crescent moon, and etc. You can say um, all the Shringara Uddipana Bhavaha, what are all present in this world, they are. They, they can be attained only by a jayi, a person who is very victorious in this world. Only uh, a person who can take charge will get all of these in this world. Ye anye mano madayanti te prakriti maroha madhuraha santieva. Either you can combine both sentences and say it as one sentence. In the sense, ye prakriti madhuraha santi anye. Those which are all beautiful naturally or sweet naturally, and madayanti, manaha madayanti, ye anye santi. Those other things which are naturally sweet and are madayanti, they intoxicate the mind. They te bhavaha, te indukaladayaha bhavaha, jagati jainaha yeva bhavanti natu mama. They, they can be attained only by a person who is naturally victorious or bhagyashalinaha eva bhavanti natu mama. Those who are fortunate only they can attain these. But I cannot get all those prakriti madhuraha vastuni, vastuni, prakriti madhurani vastuni. Mamatu. So what is it that you can attain? This is a shloka that is Madhava, the, um, who is that? The hero of that drama is saying about Ma Malati. He's saying, see, for me, I have gotten only one thing. Mamatu yat iyam loke vilochana chandrika. This chandrika, this moonlight, which is vilochana, which has um, 
which is very different vilochana chandrika or the chandrika that comes from her eyes the moonlight that is her eyesight vilochanam eva chandrika sa uh, nayana vishayam if it comes in front of my eyes that itself sayeva janmani ekaha mahotsava if her eyesight comes within the range of my perception if she comes within the range of my perception that itself is the greatest festival for me in this world sayeva janmani in my in this birth sayeva ekaha mahotsava that is the only thing that i wish for and that is the only festival that is there in my mind nothing else is kama uddipakam for me whether it is now hindu kala now he starts off with hindu kala and he says it is only for a person who is fortunate and that is that does not do anything for me i am i don't get that hindu kala but i get only this hindu kala this hindu kala that in the, this jyotsna which comes from her eyes from malati's eyes that is my only mahotsavam he says so he actually um, uh, uh, does in a ninda purvakam prathamam ninditva paschat tameva chandrikam prashamsati right so he says hindu kala dayah bhavah prakriti madurah anye santi there are many other things that are present in this world which are supposed to be very great and which are supposed to give that kama uddipakam for people but that only those people who have got it they will have it I, it's not for me i get only this hindu kala in a way it is very nice but uh, uh, what he is trying to say is your prathamam hindu kalam ninditva so you are first trying to abuse that and say it is not for me and then you are saying i have got this hindu kala so yasya apakarshaha yasya prathamam apakarshaha uktaha tasyaiva utkarshaha nigadyate dvitiyardha dvitiyarde charya so here he is not given an example of the second case where purvam puraskritya paschat ninda kriyate so that if you are interested you can look at the vyakhyanam ha huh? i think i will stop with this mm, the next one avyahatam uh, liye what is the next one sorry one minute punaruktam ah punaruktam okay ah uh, la punaruktam uh, next class pandren idoda uh, nerthikala